Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson. This lesson is on respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. So this lesson is entirely on this virus. We're gonna talk about some descriptions of this virus. We're also gonna talk about some interesting facts, and we're also gonna talk about some of the illnesses that this virus can cause. So to begin, RSV, or respiratory syncytial virus, is a virus of the family Paramyxoviridae. So it is a paramyxovirus. And it is positive sense single-stranded RNA virus. So it is made of RNA, it's single-stranded, so it's only one strand, and it's positive sense. Now, it is an important cause of both upper and lower respiratory tract infections. So what that means is that when we say upper respiratory tract infections, it is above the larynx. So larynx and above would be considered upper respiratory tract infections. So a respiratory tract infection could involve the nasal cavity, pharynx, or the larynx. And with regards to lower respiratory tract infections, it is things below the larynx. So the respiratory system that is below the larynx. So that can include the trachea, the main stem bronchi, and going into other parts of the lungs like the alveoli. So RSV can cause infections in all of these areas. And RSV occurs worldwide. It has a worldwide distribution. There's no populated area that is not affected by RSV. And it also has seasonality, which means that it has seasonal changes in its incidence. Like many other respiratory viruses, it increases in incidence in winter months. So in colder months, it usually increases in its prevalence. So those are a couple interesting notes to take away. So let's first talk about upper respiratory tract infections that RSV causes. So again, we'll quickly look at this diagram here. And when we talk about upper respiratory tract, it is the larynx and above. So these structures here. So the first one we're going to talk about wasn't actually on that diagram, but it is acute otitis media, which is a middle ear infection. So it's acute, it's otitis, itis meaning inflammation, oat, Otitis is inflammation of the ear, and media is the middle, so middle ear infection. And we see a presentation like this, where when you look inside someone's ear with an otoscope, the eardrum, this is the eardrum here, it is bulging. So there's fluid in behind the eardrum causing this pressure or this bulging of the tympanic membrane or the eardrum. RSV can also cause pharyngitis. So pharyngitis is a sore throat. So when we look in someone's throat, we can see that it is red. It is erythematous. And RSV can also cause acute rhinitis. So a runny nose. So acute rhinitis is something else RSV can cause in the upper respiratory tract. So again, acute otitis media, pharyngitis, and acute rhinitis. Now let's look at the lower respiratory tract. So We'll quickly just go through the anatomy of the lower respiratory tract here. So again, it is below the larynx. So we have the trachea. We have two main stem bronchi branching off of the trachea. And as we go further into the lung, the main stem bronchi become bronchioles. So these smaller bronchi. And then the bronchioles eventually lead to microscopic air sacs known as alveoli. And this is where gas exchange occurs, where carbon dioxide and oxygen are exchanged. So that is a brief look at lower respiratory tract anatomy. So the first part of the lower respiratory tract that can be affected by RSV is the bronchi. So again, the main stem bronchi can be affected by RSV causing bronchitis. As we go further in, we get to the bronchioles, and the bronchioles can be affected by RSV, causing bronchiolitis, itis again meaning inflammation, so inflammation of the bronchioles. And we can see mucus and a lot of congestion in the bronchioles as it becomes inflamed. RSV is actually an important cause of bronchiolitis cases. It actually causes at least 50% of bronchiolitis. And Again, as we move further into the lungs, we get to the alveoli, those microscopic air sacs. And RSV can affect the alveoli, causing pneumonia. So again, bronchitis, so inflammation of the bronchi, 
bronchiolitis, inflammation of the bronchioles, and it can affect the alveoli, causing pneumonia. So RSV can cause a wide range of issues in the respiratory tract. Now I want to talk about some other important considerations and illnesses with regards to respiratory syncytiovirus. So what's important to recognize about respiratory syncytiovirus, it is actually the most common cause of lower respiratory tract infection in children less than one year of age. So if a young child less than one year of age has a lower respiratory tract infection, the most common cause is RSV. And it's also a cause of croup, which is laryngotracheobronchitis. So RSV is a cause of croup, and when we see croup in young children, they are affected with the three S's, strider, subglottic swelling, and a seal bark cough. And here is an x-ray image of croup, and you can think for a fourth S for medical professionals here, this is the steeple sign. So you can think of four S's, strider, subglottic swelling, seal bark, cough, and the steeple sign. So it looks like a steeple right here. So again, RSV, most common cause of lower respiratory tract infections in children less than one year of age, and it's a cause of croup. And you can remember the signs and symptoms of croup by using either the three S's or the four S's if you want to remember the steeple sign as well. So if you want to learn more about other viral infections, please check out my lessons on those topics. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.